So hi and welcome back me again. So uh, I have one big news. Uh, it's that that uh, a few days ago I cut my left hand, the palm, uh, badly and I can barely move with this hand. Uh, so the bad news is that I can use just my right hand. So with uh, some shortcuts or using the keyboard would be a little bit problem. But I can think anyway. I can finish uh, this tutorial easily. So. This is just for your information, if you will ask yourself why I'm so slowly, it's not because I don't want to finish this, it's just because I can move my hand. Okay, so, I also told in the part before that I will render the top at the bottom of the rifle, just to make sure that every position of the texture will be right. Now, if I go to the opacity here and pull it up, you can see that I placed here both at the top and the bottom part and also uh, the last texture which we was doing was here some text I rotated that and placed it here so this is the only change changes which I did without your notice so I hope it's fine uh, anyway nothing bad or anything hard so I think everyone can do that and also I placed these textures like the bottom and the top part into the folder with the images so it should be uh, no problem with that. Okay, so we can we can jump to the bottom. I think we'll just make this full. Now, as you can see, uh, it was a good idea to place also these textures absolutely down. That means that here, let's say here, the texture will be also here down. So we don't have to uh, produce it again here in the back too, and actually I'm not absolutely sure about this one but I think it should be fine anyway I closed my reference picture because there was nothing left I think uh, everything which I needed for that I already used anyway I brought the, uh, already some new stuff so I will just improvising now so I, I hope you will like that uh, at the end and I think we can proceed with that So. The most of this bottom part should be metal, like it's here on the body, I mean here. The only not metal part will be, again, this part in the middle, we can put the stripe here, somewhere here, they should end, and this part of the rifle. So if I go down, let's say 50% 50, 50 should be okay, let's go here to 50. I know I need to do a mask of this metal, and delete, actually delete the part where the metal is here to put outside uh, this green tank or the green texture which we made so it shouldn't be a much problem because if you remember we placed the, uh, the green texture or the brown texture it's hard to say what color is that uh, on the wall image so it's absolutely wall image so we'll just make a mask on the metal part and literally delete that but we can preserve that anyway the mask it's the advantage of the mask so <coughs> let's go here to the metal place this here i will click on the metal part and now we can use i think just the polygon lesser tool and we'll just make some selection should be very quickly Yeah, this should be fine and now I will just take the bucket tool and make it black now this was a little bit my bad click on the mask now it's fine okay uh, even that you see that I didn't stretch this part properly it's fine because uh, this part wouldn't be there I need just this proportion here which is here so this should be right according this, to this reference and this can be like this, it doesn't matter much now this is fine of course but we need to cut also this part out but also this part so first of all I will drag again a guide which will be here one of them <coughs> and now uh, I need a white brush or do a selection and delete again this texture 
from the mask, so it will be again a metal. Now it's like uh, we are going with all tools which I was explaining, or which you will see, which I will explain in the Photoshop tutorials. One of them is the pen tool, of course. And just prepare the texture the best we can. So I will try to do selection. We'll try to make this some, some curves and so, so it will be a little bit interesting. And if you think uh, that you are snapping too much to the grid, uh, you can turn that off. I will sh show you where in a second. It's here in window, no, view, and here's the snap. If you turn this off, you will not snap again uh, to any grid, grid layers or grid lines. So just remember that if you need to do some line and so near a uh, guide here, you need to turn that off. So I will try to use my right hand anyway. So just hold control and place now this thing so. So I'm not dying with the hand, it's just hurting. And just don't don't have the mood to go again to the actor. Because it was a little bit it's a little bit funny story. Our aunt had an emergency with that, but I don't think you are. Uh, you need to know that. So as you can see now the uh, kites are snapping to the control. So I will turn that off some while. Click on that again. So I will reset that point. And now when I'm moving that, it's not snapping anymore. Oops. What's the back? I don't want to move the guides. <coughs> okay, so we are here. Yeah, here here are the points, sorry. And again, we'll try to match the shape of that. Anyway, if you do a mistake, it's not so bad because uh, it shouldn't be so like absolutely nice, I would say. It should should be dirty. It's it's old gun anyway. Uh, but as the was presenting it like that. And I think uh, already you have the knowledge how to do or finish this. But anyway, I will do that, of course, because we need to place it in the max and so. Not that everyone could know that, so I'll finish that for sure. So, make a selection of that. You can go with one pixel, should be fine here. And now we will take a white brush. We will change it to some default one. You can go with this big one. And brush over that. So we'll create here again a metal texture. When we are here in this selection, we need also to delete this part here of that. So I need to find where that did that. It's here. So I'll go here and find that. Even that I made some nice names for that. I really don't remember absolutely how I think. So I will snap it here and using the selection which I have I will use the black brush here and delete that part. Now there, there have to be something else. Okay, let's go here back to the metal part. I understand why I don't see the metal part here, but the gray texture here. No, this is fine. It's like I was deleting that. But it's possible when I see an image, yeah, I was deleting that. Oops. Anyway, it's very easy to reproduce this. We'll use just the stamp tool for that. Still making the selection. Why not? So like this we can just brush over that and don't concern that we will go over <coughs> the texture. So I will use the stamp tool. Now I will check my healing brush. Make it a little bit smaller check some pattern and make again this 
So I'll try to delete the borders which I probably created with that. And we have here this texture, here the metal texture for the gun. It's already looking good, what do you think? And now we are going to do this texture here, so it will be very similar with that. First of all, we need to do again a selection. For this I will use the pen tool again, because I think it's the best solution for this. It's easy, you can make all these curves here really nice. And when you master this tool, really, it should be very easy to do anything with that. I mean, any selection and so on. Just need a little bit to imagine where you should put the points. And of course, you can place new ones or delete the old ones whenever you want, but it takes a little bit of time. And I say, I say this every time, but if you have a tablet, you have great advantage for this, because with a pen tool and using a pen on a tablet, and I don't mean now like iPad or something, but just like a tablet for graphics, so <coughs> you'll be very fast with this. And of course with the brush and so, probably with a pen, uh, you will just take a brush and brush over this detail, and you will have it much faster than me. But uh, it's not about that. Not everyone has a tablet, and I think it's better when I do it uh, slowly. So again, the position sh position should be fine. Anyway, we can change that by holding Control and the left mouse button, just dragging that away. And now we'll just place the points. We we'll created a little bit too much of that po uh, the points. But no, it doesn't matter much. Again, how I told, it should be old gun. The paint should go away. It should be somewhere else. Nobody making perfect product in this age. No, it's always some catch or some problem which degrade the product. Oops. So just take your time to do this. Now, if you already have this, you can skip this part, or just you can do it uh, at your own and skip my part when I'm doing that. Anyway, I'm just doing the selection, then I will uh, make a selection using the parts and probably with a feather to one pixel or something should be enough for that. And of course, make your details whatever you want. Like the last time, we was making some text, so you know, you just need some font which you like, some old military or so. Even you don't need an old one. You can make it with a mask. You'll just take some scratch brush or crack brush or grunge brush and make a mask uh, using that font, and you will make an old effect font, which is like half of, half of the type disappear and so on. So very, very easy. But if, if you want to follow me, absolutely, you can of course. But if you think that, okay, I will do this different, I don't like that, do it. Uh, it will be no difference with that, really. It's about your fantasy. This work should be like your business card. There should be your signature on that. Something like this, you know, artists doing, uh, telling this all the time. That everyone should have his own style, not copy anyone. But this is not absolutely copying, you're learning by this. Well, I hope you're learning by this. So this is a lot, I, I think. Okay, I think it's enough. So we'll make a selection, again, with one pixel. And now, <coughs> we need to go here to the middle part, select our green part, which is here, eventually. But, because uh, we can do here a mask and delete it from there, but the second part of this it should be somewhere here. No, it's not here. I need to find that. 
Oh, it should be here. Yeah, it is. So this part, which is here, we need to apply here. Now, there's some ways how to do that. One of them, I will try to copy this whole thing which was there. So we have again the same layer, absolutely the same with a clipping mask and so. Now I need, I can deselect my selection so far, and I will try to drag the down. You can see it's here. Just check everything. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. And this is fine too. Okay, so I place this. Everything which I had before. I place it like somewhere here. I can make it also bigger or different. Depends on you really. And now I'm thinking if to do a group or not. Yeah, I can group this to make it very easy and make a mask. Oh, all three layers together. So I'll make again the selection. I will inverse that selection. Select inverse and now I will take my black brush and make everything around disappear. You see? How easy that? Okay, so we have the bottom here, very easy, very fast. I can rename this group like um, reload think because I have no idea how to call that. <coughs> And let's see a little bit more. Now I remember the reference picture. There was nothing else. It was just like this. Now we need to decide if to put here a little bit more details or not, uh, a little bit more textures, or some signs, or just something interesting. Now mm, yes, we can, but we should be also a little bit aware of too much details because. Too much details make it look at the end a little bit too much fancy and you know just in simple things it's some kind of beauty. So let's say I will take this text and I will place it here. So I'll find it somewhere. So it should be here. So I'll just make it one more time. Place it first firstly here. Now I can do a mask for that, but it should be a little bit too much. So I will drag this above the middle part. And let's say, let's make it a little bit smaller. Also rotate this, I would say like this. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, now we'll go to the mask and I will check a brush, I will check my correct brushes. Oh, this one, let's say. I'm in the mask, I'm black. So I will brush away using the pattern which creates uh, the crack, the crack brush. So let's say I will do it like this. Maybe we can use another one. Yeah, this is also fine. So I will just make here some really strange pattern. I will also use white brush and I reveal some of something which I deleted before. And we can also uh, select a different effect on this, but actually I, I don't know much what. So I will just go here on all. I think I will use the dark and it's very soft and just make here some, st let's say like stamp or something. Okay, so like this we should have the top, the bottom and the middle. We can also drag this part up 
Now don't look that this is a little bit darker it's because uh, this render is darker than that. We can use this arrows also here up, why not? They're looking pretty nice. So I will find here some of the arrows. Here are they. So I'll copy the wall of that. And again, you can change that somehow. You can make it smaller like me. And so on. A lot of options which you can do. With all the textures which I downloaded and which you have. And just make it that you like that. It's very easy. If you like that, uh, it's fine. If not, there's some problem. Okay, now now we're going to proceed to the front part and the back part. Now on board, uh, we have a little bit, let's say, trouble because here is my little. Let's make it more visible. Better to show you. So here is my little. Here is just this uh, part here. And from the back is the same, so, so just metal and here the part of this re reload thing. Now, <coughs> for this part from which someone is shooting the laser, I will do something else. I will do uh, textures, like part of the texture. I will make a rectangle of this and like that I can use the texture somewhere else. Also I will make a texture from this stripe and so and also from the metal of course. And then I will apply here some materials IDs because really I don't see him and I think it would be much easier to do it like that. And I will texture this different. It shouldn't be just metal here of course. On the back part it will be uh, the same like this. So I will make just the metal here somewhere like this, let's say, and then I will try to make this stripe continue here, and maybe some text here at the bottom, this will be all, and this will be also easy. So I think we'll finish text absolutely here, in this part. So we'll, let's talk and try to speed up. So we'll go again in 50, should be enough. And first of all, I will make the metal part a little bit bigger. So check the metal layer. I'll grab this. Let's select this. I'll click Ctrl V on that. I'll not join that so far because I don't want. I will join that a little bit later. The reason why I don't want to join that is that after that I will use my uh, mask here. It's nice to preserve all masks. So for that, I'll make a trick in a second. But before I will do the same here. So I'll crop here texture. You can go more than it's actually this part. So again, Control C, Control V. I'll make it here. And as you can see, this is not absolutely good. But it's not also bad. I can live with that. I'll place it somewhere here. I can turn on again the snap. It's much easier to snap to the guide. Place it somewhere here. Now I'll select this here. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and from this I will make one texture. It will be looking, let's say, like, like this. Now I will merge all these three layers together. Oops. Shift, Ctrl E. I will check my healing brush tool, make it bigger. And again, I will try to make the differences here disappear. I'll make just like this brush. And as you can see, disappearing there. It's great, great tool, absolutely. One of the best in Photoshop, I think. Oops, this was too much. So here I need to. Yeah, I know. Use this pattern here. Okay, I need to join this uh, with this bigger texture here. So I'll go to stop back, pick here, and I will do this in a minute. <coughs> and this also. Now, how to preserve the mask? Uh, I can try this. I will make Control C on this selection. 
I will delete the layer mask. I will merge this down and I will apply that back and it's done. So like this I preserved the mask and I have more layers now, which is cool. So here the same like before like before. Let's go here, I will drag here a brush here just and I will let Photoshop to make there something. And really if you have dark and white points like me, you, you will achieve a new texture, which is great. So you can do a mix with that. Of course it's not so easy, because sometimes you will do a really horrible work with that. But sometimes it's very nice. So you can use it like this. Okay, so we have the metal texture, which is something like the major texture here. And we just need this one, this part. Uh, for that we will do again a mask. So I will go here and I will do the wall here. It should be the wall. So first of all I will make a pen tool and this should be very quickly. So just here, let's click here, convert the point. Now just I will fix the position a little bit, drag this, drag that. Again, I will fix that a little bit. No, it's not perfect. But also, it's not so bad. Right, tell nothing is bad. Just people think a lot of people that they work is bad. But nobody thought that. They think that. Just make some more confidence in yourself. Okay, a little bit more higher. Okay, so we have here a mask. Now, I will make a selection, of course. Make a selection. I will don't delete the path. Go to my black brush. Change this again to something normal. Smaller, higher. Brush over that. Now, I can use my reload group, make it again bigger and I will just place it somewhere here ok, I will use this part from that make it bigger so uh, you can scale, you can move whatever you want I don't want there any like points missing. And even now we don't need to create a mask. I just will brush over this to cover something. So we have this part the same we will do on the other side. Here. Here will be a little bit more complicated. The reason why it's that this is just a little bit different because the metal part is going in the middle and the below part should be I think just here outside this. So we'll make two parts. I hope it will allow me. So just like that. Yeah it will allow me. It's great. And as you can see, I'm trying also to do there are some random parts. It's not that I'm lazy so much, but I really like if, uh, especially on this kind of model, the texture isn't such perfect like it should be. Like I told before, nothing is perfect in the real world, so why should be this? Of course, it shouldn't be so like dirty or something, like very bad, just a little bit, like. Uh, someone which you will show you the model, or which you will show the model, will say, "Okay, this is great," <coughs> and not like, "Okay, this is fine, but not so bad, but not so good." Okay, make selection of that. Let's go again here, and we'll brush away these few parts. And again, I will check my reload part. 
make it once more and drag, drag it somewhere here. We'll go to the front where I like texture the most. I'll make this a little bit bigger. This also means that the overall the overall size of the file is bigger, but it's okay for me, I hope also okay for you. And this is fine. So apply. You can crop it crop it after. <coughs> Okay, so we have this part here, <coughs> sorry, and this part there. Now I thought I would like to try this uh, stripe to move. Now it should be somewhere here, I think, middle left. Yep. So this will be a little bit more harder, I think. Hard to say how to do that. I will just jump here a little bit and look what else I will place here change and no, all okay I know that here is something which I don't want there so now I just need to find where it is it's middle left of course and I don't know with layer it, it is maybe this one yeah so let's go to the mask tool because here should be just the middle part and we'll use just a brush because it's very fast. We'll make it a little bit more harder. Go to the black color and just brush over that to delete that part. Or better to hide. Depends how you look on that. Because it shouldn't be there. So it will not be even, you know, rendered. So just a quick fix on this. But I think the rest is fine. Yo. Probably also this tribe shouldn't be here, absolutely, but I will keep it there because I like that. And let's go here. Okay, we have here the stripe which we can use. Now, the stripe ends here with this orange thing, so it should be. It should be which part? Let's see. This is a little bit higher here, so. Just better th uh, to think a little bit more before we start anything. Yeah, it should be just this one outside the ring. So, mm, okay, <coughs> let's try this. Oh, make a new group called oh, it's called Control G. Make a group and make it back. And here I will preserve some of that just to make a little bit more order. Of course, it's already don't have absolutely an order there, but think still it's fine. I saw a more mess in some artworks. So I'll copy both of these layers, go here up, place it here, delete this. Let's say how big is that because we don't need big layer. Okay so uh, we can delete this from both parts so here and here should be already deleted, I just don't see that. Yeah. But still is there something, as you can see the selection is too high. I think I saw that. So I will try to delete also this. So let's, yeah, now it's better. Okay, so let's go here and we'll point this On our reference, so we'll go down with that. But I don't think so much. So I'll place this firstly up to see where I'm going. And a texture shield end here somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. Here. Now hold on, shift. We'll make this 100% to really see everything. So it should end here somewhere. So we'll keep it there. We'll make here some guides. Apply. 
to make it easier to follow. Let's go down with this. And this should end here, so I hope I'm right. Okay. <coughs> now, first of all, uh, we'll drag the texture somewhere here, just here. So I'll make here a selection until here and delete that also from the other view on the upper side. One, two. So we have here a stripe. Now we will reproduce these stripes everywhere. Okay, missing here again some guides. I'm forgetting sometimes sometimes on some stuff. Not so bad. It's going worse and I'm done coding. Mm, okay, one more delete. Then we will try to curve them back. Like together. Mm, we'll see how we'll be going. Mm, here uh, I will control E, merge them together. Now I can control the mask now, but it's not necessary for me. So you can do it different way if you want. Here I will just place this one here. Somewhere here. Nobody's telling that uh, the guides are properly. And I'll flip it vertically. Okay. I'll make again a stripe. Rotate that here. So you can stay here for a while in this part if you really want to make it a little bit different like I have. It's up to you. It's really up to you. Uh, I will try to do it like my way. Like I do everything anyway. And you can do it your way or different way or whatever. It's up to you, really. So okay, I will place it somewhere here. I think I'm matching the pattern a little bit. So it should be fine. I will join them all together. This is uh, like a step, which is not usual. And now we are going to do a work. So let's do a mask. We're going to do a lot of masking and deleting and making other stuff. So first of all, I will make here something like this. Make this smaller and delete this part here. So I will preserve something but the most the parts are, I, I will delete anyway and oops and we create after actually I will delete everything which is what is here and the mask will allow me like uh, to unhide some stuff or something like that now, how to make the missing parts very easily? I will copy some parts. I will create here selection. I, c I could go just for my eye, but why not? I will copy this part. Control C and V. No, this was hurting. Oops. I will just rotate that. We should go like 45 degrees. I will go under this layer. Oops, like this. I see. Should go something like here. Okay, so I will do first the corner, this corner here. Just for that, I need to merge this. So I will the mask, but. I'm not concerning about that, make anything from that, because it's just the mask. <coughs> okay, let's choose the stamp tool and we'll rebrush these parts. Firstly, so we'll recreate that part. Now I will try to recreate this second part. So, slowly brushing over that. Creating the corners from one side, from the other side a little bit, and 
now we can use this part, make it much smaller of course. And I will just brush over that, over this, that area, that, something here, something there. Oh, we can do also something here and we have a corner. You see, very easy to do. And I will not copy this corner bef because I want a unique corner on all sides. Why not? So this will take us some time. But I think I can do it, but faster. I guess so. So we'll just make a again a rectangle. Let's say like this. Okay, control C, control V. Now for this I'm always using my left hand and now I can't speed it. 45 degrees again. Now we can move it a little bit more like this. We will place this here and again we'll merge this. Select our stamp tool. And first of all can work a little bit on this part. Make it a little bit different now on this part. To recreate environment and all the missing stuff from the corners. Now nobody will tell you if this will, will not be perfect, but keep your attention how you brush and so on how you use the stamp tool, how you use the healing brush and so on. So if you make it really slowly and nice, you will achieve a very nice result and I believe better than mine's that was too much. No, this we can keep why not? This is really a nice effect, you know, it's going inside the texture. Okay. This corner and two more. As you can see, how easy is that? Now, a lot of people tell you no, it's hard and so on, but it's absolutely not. In Photoshop, you just need to know what to use. Of course, a lot of things you can use uh, with different tools, but mostly there is just one tool which is the best or well, the most effective. Maybe not, I don't know. But probably yes. Why not? It's logical, like in the real world. Like if you want to unmount a screw, you need the right screwdriver, right? And of course you can do it with a different one, but with the right one it's much easier and so on. Oops, too much. Yeah, never mind. So again, just to mix the colors, to make some round stuff here so we are, we are trying to make some art you can make this you can use a hard brush and so on a lot of options really now I know I have I was using just a trial version of that antivirus not so good. <coughs> okay, the last, the last one. I will just check this. Control C, Control V. I'm using two hands to make this Control C and Control V thing. It's very funny. I think someone will like the iPhone more. I think. 45 degrees. Apply. Make it smaller. But it's not nice to laugh. No, no, other. Okay. So, control E on this. But I'm very happy it's not uh, so bad how I thought it, it was uh, the first time because if yes, I, I will have no chance to finish this. I really I promised to our users to finish this before the end of this year, and I really want it was trying to catch some time to make some parts and I already did, I was very sat satisfied with that. I was going I was happy to continue and a few days before oops and 
but it's fine. So my hand is fine, we'll be in a few weeks, absolutely fine, so it should go with this. So we have he this one here, and I'm starting to think that's probably not the right texture for this bag, so we can change the appearance of a little bit if we are here. We'll firstly change the color balance of that. So, I don't know, wrong which color. Yeah, a little bit like this, a little bit. Yeah, why not? A little bit, maybe a little bit more metal part of that. Like this. And I told I would like to go inside of this. Now, um, this will again take us some time. So we will try to make some like tricks. We'll copy this layer, make it smaller, copy here. I never told it would be absolutely on everything. I'll place this one here. Now let's go to transform and mm, flip flop. No, flop is not so good. But why not? We can also a little bit squeeze this. here to make it a little bit again more interesting. So, so some distortion of that. Now we need to make this part here. So we need some legs or something. Because like this it would be a, really a little bit, let's say, strange. So I'll try to do that. I'll try to do do that just from one part. I'll move the part absolutely down. I'll try to rotate that. It should be again 45 degrees. But you never know. And no, it's not. I knew that. I'll place it somewhere here. Hit uh, control and just move it in this axis a little bit. So it, sh it should go from white to not so white. Or I don't know how to tell that different way. Something like this. I will not merge anything so far. I'll make this legs or this part here just from this part. Why not? So we'll just use what we already have to save time. <coughs> Vertically now. Oops. So the same, I'll just place it here. We can rotate that if we think we should. The last part, I'm already thinking about one thing, which I will show you at the end of this. Horizontal. Yes or no? Hmm. Yes. So I'm just thinking what's what is what direction really? I feel something sometimes stupid. Okay, we'll go back here to this layer and should be really a little bit more bigger in all sides. But the like the free transform under transform don't make actually what I would like to have. So even the scale to it's too big. Like this is in the middle, but just thinking how to do this a little bit different. So I will delete that. I was making some stuff there, but it's, it's not such important. I will select again my main layer, drag this down, and hold on, shift, make it smaller without the distortion which we did before. I think like this uh, better. Probably yes. I'm just thinking how to make this bigger really. I never told like how to make this kind of things better. Just one idea. Like I will make this in this. I can go a little bit more down. And I'll place this 
under that. Which rectangles, but that's fine. Okay, it's fine. So I think it was this and this layer. So I will make one of them. I will cra uh, grab my stamp tool. Like this, I will make this. Of course, if you know how to make this bigger, do it your way. I just helped myself with that. So I'm going to tell, like, it's not right, it's a little bit stupid. Yeah, so of course it is. But just like a quick fix of something. But I think this is fine. It's looking good, very fast. Yeah, this is, this is great. So now I will try to merge that. But before, we we'll select these tools, make a mask, and just delete this. So far, we'll do the same here. But I don't know. Yeah, this one. Maybe this one. Yeah, cool the last one here <coughs> then I think I can merge them together so I'll now merge all together Control E and now I will also fix this again I will check my stamp tool and make here this part as you can see, I'm trying to do the pattern from both sides, just to bring some borders, or delete the borders which are there between the textures. A little bit different in some ways. Of course, not much, just a little bit. And also here. Actually, I don't know why I'm doing that, because I want to render the gun from the front, but Okay, why not? Now the same I will do here. So now here the texture is the same from both sides. Because there I was uh, scaling it down. It's a little bit different. So now it doesn't matter much from which point I'm taking the pattern for that. Okay, nearly done. And then probably some words in that here a little bit maybe. And we are done in these parts and where I think I already should end. But I really would like to make an end of this part, like from the Photoshop part. Probably will probably I don't know really. I would like to say that uh, I'm done with that, but it can be that uh, after an hour I will tell, okay, I will try to make there something else and so So I can tell that for sure. So we have here this back. Now I will create here a mask. I will take some grunge brush. First of all, I will use just white, soft white. So I will check, I don't know, this one. And Okay, I can do that just in that selection, so control on that, and I will make here some spots, white spots. I will make this on the same layer, okay, my bad, <laughs> sorry. So I will create a new layer for that, just for sure. So I will make here some white spots, you can go with that like on 50%, not to make them s too white. And with the mask, uh, I will choose here my great crack brushes, well, firstly this one see to make it like this oh, it's great it's like burnt on the edges now you can of course delete the reference and it will be different so I can make here two spots oops something here now I can choose something else okay this was too much let's go to the other side OK, 
Okay, to have something like this, probably it's better when I turn that uh, turn that off, and something to the middle, just to make it more interesting. We can do, of course, something like this here, but I don't want to do that. And now is here is the back. We can go to the, with the reference up, and to the back I have here one layer which I'm not using. So I will write here some numbers, random. Like this it should be something like a serial number of that. I'll place it here in the middle. Let's say I will just change the color of that because the white is not the right color. So it should be something like brown or something, some more red in that, a darker one. I'll make it like this and I will try to change the appearance of that. It's too much. Nothing to see. Not hard at all. <coughs> change the color. Oops. Let's go up. Change the color to this. Or better to this. Much better. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. And we can just go a little bit with this down. 17 to make it like this. We have this one here. <coughs> and let's see the reference pictures one, one more time. So let's go on 30%. I will fill the bottom with black. So make a new layer here, put down check line. Ah, ah, or with white. Doesn't matter. So now I know I can cut up that a little bit. So I can go here. I can go just a bit. I will turn off the snap. Just a little bit here and here. Just to cut from all sides a little bit. And from here and crop. Okay, for sure, snap again. The front should be <coughs> a bit more to see. And I think I'm done. Maybe, I don't know, I will think about more details and so on. But I'm looking on that here. Uh, I'm nearly done, of course. Oh, I need to do one more part, sorry. Yeah, I need to do the bump map for this. I need to do separate the textures for this. Yeah, we will do one more part on which I will also think about it more details to that. Yeah, this will be cool. Okay, so I will stop here and the next part we will not go to max. We'll firstly, uh, finish this or we'll start to making the textures like this texture, the metal texture, some bump map for that, for that. Also this stripe or this stripe, doesn't matter, one of them, or both. Also this texture a little bit. So I have different texture which we can use. And then I will think a, a little bit more about this. And we will finish it with a bump map and we will be done. So one more part with textures. So we can see uh, it's really not hard to do. Just a little bit, it depends about the idea, what you think about that, or maybe it needs a little bit time to think uh, for the for the guns and so for the texture, for the general texture for that. So, so far, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next part, uh, and I hope just two parts and that the rifle will be done, and it will be on the 30th of December online. So wish me luck and so far. Bye bye.